My name is, is Bob Hughes. I am one of the developers of River Place, uh, one, of the, one of the many fortunate beneficiaries of the, of the kind of generosity that, that pervades this community. And, and, and I think we're here today really as, as a testament to the commitment, collaboration, and generosity that sort of creates what Greenville is and what it's become. Peg and I moved here some six years, that's about six years ago, although we had some property up here earlier than that. And as Bob said, we got together and talked about the Carillon, and Bob is the one that made all of this possible. In fact, I think I, read, I looked at the original papers, actually it was in 2006 when we signed agreements together to do this, and I've been hounding Bob ever since, when are we gonna do it? And here we are, this is the day. There are 25 bells in the set. The largest bell weighs about 100 pounds, the smallest one about 15. They're played electrically from a console that you can all see in the lobby of the Lazy Goat. And the set is one of a kind. There's nothing else like this anywhere. You'll notice there's some speakers on the top. And those speakers actually provide an alternate sound strings. The bells will play at various times during the day. They will start with the traditional clock chimes. And of course, the carillon itself is a gift in memory of my parents and the Van Bergen family, Hermanus Chapko Van Bergen and my mother, Johanna Van Bergen. Thank you. Mr. Van Bergen, thank you on behalf of a very grateful city for bringing this wonderful gift. Somebody once said, to have a really wonderful downtown, you should try to achieve the effect that uh, there is literally a surprise around every corner. And that is one of the great things about our downtown is that as you walk around this wonderful place, you see things, you experience things, and now you'll even hear things. And that's what makes our downtown so extraordinary and wonderful. So thank you so much for that. But the idea of the bells being erected here has been around a long time, or erected, put, put someplace. It was going to be a bell tower someplace. We didn't know exactly where. So they were tucked away a long time, while a lot of people gave a lot of thought about where the right place is to be for the bell tower and how it should be memorialized. And it made me think about the same kind of process of great vision and also great patience that Tommy White has always shown. And there's some similarities. Um, some similarities about these bells, because they were always packed away, and one day, one day, one day, the right moment would come. And it was very much that way for over 25 years with this spot called River Place now. Because this spot, as we all know, was quite barren, warehouses, kudzu, you weren't really supposed to be here, hard to get to, and we all knew though that Tommy was out there for years acquiring properties and talking other people, which is really the amazing part of it, talking other people into acquiring properties in this forgotten backwater backyard, if you will, of Greenville, South Carolina, along the river that is somewhere back there. But he did, very patiently, for a long time. But Tommy, on behalf of the whole community, you're, you always saw the great value in the river, in the area around the river. Um, it has transformed all that we know about Greenville, South Carolina. And if we follow in your footsteps, we will continue to let it transform our city because we have more to do. But that's the way Greenville will continue to be unique and authentic and so very special. Uh, but thank you, Tommy, for, on behalf of all of us, it's a daunting task to stand here on behalf of the community for this one moment to be part of uh, all of us in sharing this moment of thanks to Tommy White for his vision and his persistence and his patience 
in bringing sort of the ultimate art project to downtown Greenville, uh, cap, the capstone of which is the bell tower. But the real piece of art, if you will, still will always be River Place on Reedy River in Greenville. Thank you, Tommy. So as we go from here, I hope every time you hear the bells ring, you'll think about the Van Bergens, you'll think about Tommy Weich's vision, and you'll think about the commitment, the collaboration, and the generosity that makes Greenville what it is, and I hope is symbolized by this. So now, to sort of, to really cap this off, we've got a song written by Tommy for his children, played by Sally. 